Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Abby Van Meter at the Nelson County Extension Office. She is a nutrition assistant here at the Extension Office. And we are going to make some crunchy Hawaiian chicken wraps. Yes. That sounds nutritious. Yes, it is. Uh, Ron <laughs> actually just came in here and said, well, what makes them crunchy? I think he was thinking something fried because crunchy is actually one of those words that if you see it on a menu or something, you might want to stay away from it because that typically means deep fried. But in this case, it actually um, is referring to the broccoli and carrots. So it gives it a little oh. crunch there. So a little different than being fried. Tricky. So very nutritious. Yeah, they kind of, <laughs> they did the, kind of a swing, yeah. a swing name on that. Huh. So um, they are very healthy. Um, they actually have some pineapple in it, some chicken, um, and then the broccoli, uh, carrots, and spinach. And then you're going to put it on a whole wheat tortilla. Okay. So, talking about the my plate, you know, we want to try to make all of our meals as close to the plate as we can. So, half fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and then dairy. So, so this has almost everything. Almost right. everything but dairy. So, you know, you could always drink a glass of milk, eat some yogurt. Um, this has mayonnaise in it. You could actually substitute that for some plain yogurt if you wanted to, okay. uh, to get a complete plate meal. Um, but it's very balanced. Um, it's a good summer lunch or you know appetizer maybe because it's cool and you don't have to cook it so you don't have to worry about turning the oven on making the house yeah. hot so it's a really good it sounds good yeah um and something that they can uh, kids could help with kids could help too. with definitely yeah. um and then you know you can customize it you can put different things in it you could put some beans in it some cheese cheese would be a good f source of dairy in it there you go yeah. see you got yeah. it all in there so now. uh smart <laughs> so uh it's a really versatile recipe and one that i think is really really good so cool. we're going to start with the dressing um and so first of all you're going to put a fourth of a cup of light mayonnaise in it okay if you prefer miracle whip you could use whip some miracle whip yeah all right do you prefer mayonnaise or miracle i prefer mayonnaise so but it's a big you know it's Debate. one or the other definitely <laughs> <laughs> definitely um a fourth a cup of sugar then we're gonna do two tablespoons of white vinegar. Okay. Hmm. So how many people will this feed? This makes um, six, six wraps. Okay. So, um, and these wraps are pretty big, so um, you can often cut them in half. Um, and you know, you can kind of spread it out however you want. So if you have a larger amount of people you're serving, you know, just don't put as much filling on there. Yeah. Or if you want to make like an appetizer yeah, type of thing yeah. or something of that nature. Um, so we have our vinegar, mayonnaise, and sugar. Uh, then we're going to put a teaspoon of poppy seed in there. Okay. Hmm. So poppy seed is something we don't typically... See a lot. Yeah, see a lot. But it gives it a little, um, I wouldn't say crunch, but a little, little something different. Yeah, I hope that's not where they're getting their crunch from. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we're going to do um, a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder, onion mm -hmm. powder, and chili powder. Mm, that smells good. So get some spices going in there. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of times if you use some spices like garlic and onion powder, uh, you don't have to add as much salt, so you're not getting the sodium. Um, okay, that's good. You know, yeah, we need to watch our sodium. And I guess it's better to use the powder than it is to use like garlic salt or onion salt. Right, right. right. So um, a lot of times, you know, the garlic salt might even be cheaper um, mm -hmm. because, you know, they put more salt in it. But it is better, of course, to use the, the pure powder. Um, this seems like it's going to be very flavorful. Yeah, it does have a really good which, flavor. Which is a good thing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> especially since we're not frying it exactly. with the crunchy. Exactly. Yeah. And this is from Healthy Choices for Everybody. Yeah. With UK Extension Office, right? Yeah. And only 370 calories. Per one wrap, yes. That's pretty good. Yeah. And it's very filling because, you know, it has a lot of those crunches and that kind of thing. So it, you okay, know, so it's got a little spice in here too with that chili powder. A little spice, powder. yeah. Have we talked before? Do you like spice? I do. Yeah. I do. A lot of times I'll make recipes uh, for classes and stuff. And I, I don't, I guess since I like the spice, I don't recognize it as much. So things that I don't think are very spicy. People, people pick up on it, but, you know, so I've kind of toned that taste. down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? Do you like spice? Uh, I don't, I don't like a whole, whole lot, lot of hot spice. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, like this, I think would right. be nice. Yeah. I like to have some kick, but yeah. not like a. I think it gives it a really good hot. flavor. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so there's our dressing. So we're just okay. going to set that kind of to the side and get to That's work. That's a lot on. of spices in there. Yeah. So that's good. I love garlic. Mm -hmm. Garlic <laughs> is my go-to seasoning, I would say. All right, so let's kind of clean that and up a little bit. Like yeah. Um, so next we're going to work on the uh, more of the filling of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to put in um, broccoli and carrots. This uh, The recipe calls for it to be shredded. Um, so I just picked up a little container of what's called broccoli slaw, which is just broccoli and carrots already shredded. So you could definitely do this at home, but just for time's sake, easier. yeah. As long as you get your crunch in there. Yes, just a little crunch. Um, and then we need uh, a fourth a cup crushed pineapple in 100% uh, pineapple juice. So if you see here, there's the pineapple juice. And I think we've talked about before, uh, a lot of fruits are typically packed in heavy syrup. So it's with extra sugar in it. Mm. And you don't really need all that sugar, especially because the fruit is already sweet. So always look for packed in its own juice. Okay. And then you're not getting all those extra sugar. That's a um, good tip. Yeah. So, um, and then drain out the excess juice out of there. So we're going to put our pineapple in there. And I think this is kind of what gives it the Hawaiian, uh -huh. Hawaiian flavor. Oh, crunchy Hawaiian. Um, mm -hmm. yep. And then we're going to add in about a cup of uh, baby spinach chopped. And then like spinach um, some diced chicken. And um, for today, I just used canned chicken because it's really easy. You know, it's already cooked. You just put it in there. Um, in recipes, it's fine. If you had some leftover chicken breast, you know, you could cut mm -hmm. that up and mm -hmm. put in there. Um, any kind of chicken that you prefer. Um, but this should work fine today. And usually in these wraps and such, it's usually a light, the light meat, not the dark yes, meat. Yes, yes. Is that just preference or is that, you know, is there a reason for that? I don't think so. I think it just kind of a tradition, you know, mm -hmm. that in the wraps they usually use the... Because usually the light meat is less moist, I guess, maybe too, right. and you put stuff into it. Right, of, yeah. So, okay. So we're going to It looks like this. a lot. That's, yeah, yeah. So this is, good. I think this is going to make more than six wraps. Those are going to be some really full wraps. Full wraps, yeah. Um, so, and I think our wraps might be, I don't know, there's all different sizes of the tortilla shell, uh -huh. so you never really know what you're getting. But this is where you can have some fun with it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Trying to stuff it and in And very there. colorful <laughs> and. You could just eat that with a fork. Yeah, you could. Um, so we're going to. We have our uh, filling here, and then we're going to stir in our dressing. So you're just going to kind of pour okay. this over. I forgot about the dressing. That's yeah. That does look good. You know, as you were seeing this, some of the little white mm -hmm. uh, mayonnaise looks like, like feta. Uh-huh, it does. So you could you mix could, in some cheese yeah, in there, too, and definitely. get that dairy element, get too, that dairy. which I think would be nice. Yeah. I like cheese. Do you like cheese? I do. I think <laughs> cheese makes everything a little better. <laughs> And they say that about cheese and bacon. That's what they. Yeah, that's what they usually say. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe use some turkey bacon if you're going to use bacon because that's a lot healthier. Uh huh. A lot less saturated fat. All right. So that's mixed in pretty well. And like a grilled cheese with bacon. Oh on that. yeah, that's good. good. And some avocado. <laughs> Have you ever had avocado? Yes, I love on your avocado. Yeah, those are good on yes. grilled cheeses. Mm hmm Yeah. All right. But this looks really good. This, this is, yeah. Hawaiian <laughs> chicken wrap. Back to topic. Healthy. <laughs> Healthy option here. So, um, and then, you know, it's pretty much finished. You just kind of spoon a little on there. And I think that would be a good amount. I mean, mm -hmm. you could always put a little more, but, you know, you don't want it to be overflowing Flowing. where it all falls out. And then just kind of wrap it up. And then, like I was saying, you can kind of cut it. And then, of course, it all falls apart. <laughs> yeah. But, and then yeah. you have a little wrap. Yeah, looks yeah. good. Yeah. So that's so. a crunchy Hawaiian chicken wrap. Yes. And you can get a copy of the recipe by contacting the extension yes. office and checking it out. And then let us know what you think. Yeah, and uh, you can always, um, if you live in Marion or Washington County, you know, contact their office if you're familiar with them and they can get you a copy of it too. So cool. any of us are always happy to help. Absolutely. Crunchy Hawaiian chicken wraps, only 370 calories. Makes six servings. Sounds yeah. good. All right, this has been Gary White with Abby Van Meter at the Nelson County Extension Office.